Hello, everyone. So our studio recently made this thing called Quarto, which is a sort of upgrade to their R Markdown system. And we're going to use it today to get a blog going. And I'm hoping to make this a pretty quick video. So let's head over to Quarto.org. You could just go there to the website, figure out everything. They've got great uh, guides and starting documents. If you wanted to do the blog, you would go to Guide and find websites and creating a blog. Now I've made a companion post for this, for our course. It's called Blogging with Quarto, and you probably found this video through this link here. Here's what we're going to do. We need to get a bunch of open source software and an account with github.com. Then we're going to make a Quarto blog project in our studio, and I'll show you a little bit how to modify it. And then at the end, we scroll down and we can share your Quarto blog on github.com. So let's start with the first thing, and that is make an account with github.com. So if we did that, then what's going to happen for me, I think it's going to log into my existing GitHub account. So you go ahead and do that. It's totally free. Next, I'll have you download and install GitHub Desktop. So I've got a link for that here. Click this link, and get it for your computer, and it should be available for Mac or Windows and possibly Linux, I don't know. And this is going to make using GitHub pretty easy. It's also going to install the Git version control software on your system if you don't have it already. All right, the next two things involve getting R on your computer and RStudio desktop. You could download R by following this link, or you could go to download RStudio desktop here the important thing is you have to do R first and then RStudio Desktop. Now, if we just go to RStudio Desktop, let's see what we get. We get uh, number one, install R. So follow this link and install R on your computer. After you're done that, go and install RStudio for your computer. And with all of those things installed, we should be ready to get going with a Quarto blog project. If you already have R and R Studio on your computer and you haven't updated recently, go ahead and get the new R Studio desktop because it automatically has Quarto installed. Okay, the next step is to make a Quarto blog project in R Studio. So go ahead and open up R Studio. You can see that uh, up in the top right hand corner here it says Project None. We're going to make a new project. You can just click this and ask for a new project. And if you have the new R Studio installed, you'll be able to, when you, we're going to do a new directory, and there's a Quarto blog option right here. So I'm going to give this a, a name. I'm going to call it Cognition Blog. This will be the name of my R project, the folder where all the files will go. And I'm, I'm going to save this in a subdirectory on my computer called GitHub, where I put all my GitHub folders. This is also going to be the name of the repository we share on GitHub later on. And if this isn't already clicked, the create a Git repository, make sure that's clicked on. Go ahead and create the project. It takes uh, 20 seconds or so. And now we have a new RStudio project loading up. It should say the name of the project up here, Cognition Blog. We're going to see the files in our folder that make the blog. And in the top left-hand corner, it's loaded up one of the files in the text editor. So now we're going to talk about modifying some of these to make your blog. Oops, actually, uh, the next thing in our list here was compile your blog. So let's go ahead and just see what it is that we're making. We can do that right away. It's a good, good way to find out if everything is working. So go up to the Build tab right here, and if you click Render Website, you should be able to take a look at what this blog is going to look like. So it is running, it's doing its thing, it's basically taking all the files and turning them into web files, saving them in this folder called underscore site. And in a moment, we're going to be able to see what it looks like. So it automatically loaded it up into my browser, and here we have the Quarto blog template. It shows two posts. You could click on a post to see what a post looks like. These are just super minimal. The idea is you would go in there and copy these individual posts 
and replace them with your own content. So let's go do that next. I think that's what we had in store. So after compile your blog, we had writing your own posts. Okay, so all of your posts are going to be stored in the posts folder. And here are those two posts we just looked at. So the idea is to take one of these folders, say this one, doesn't matter which one, and copy it. So I'm going to copy this. And I can't remember what I called this in the example. What did I call it? My new post. I'll be consistent. So I'm just going to give it a name. My new post. Press OK. We should get a new folder here. There's not a lot of stuff in the folder. We just have a QMD file called index and an image. It's the index.qmd file that we're going to modify. Clicked it and it opens up in the text editor. And we've got really two pieces here. The stuff in between the three dashes is called YAML, Y-A-M-L. And it's going to allow us to put in some pieces of the document, like the title, author, date, and stuff like that. So I'm going to go ahead and make some modifications. Okay, I went and changed the title and the author name and the date. I added a new keyword called thoughts. I made a new image called DeLorean Dreams. And then this is the main body of the post. I just deleted what was there before and wrote some other text. If we now head back to the Build tab and press Render Website, we should see a few things will happen. The new post should automatically be added to the website. We should be able to click on it and take a look. Fingers crossed. All right, here we have it. I've got the old, the old sample posts and the new one called My New Post, and here it is. It's displaying the image I put in there, and we've got the new text that I had. So that's the really simple thing you need to do to make new blog posts. Go into the posts folder, copy one of the posts that's there, edit the index.qmd file, and then press render website. The final step here is to share your Quarto blog on github.com so other people can see it. Up to now, your files have been on your local computer and you've been um, previewing them essentially. So we need to get your files up on the internet somehow. And the way I'm going to suggest you do that is to use github.com. So the first thing we got to do is open up GitHub desktop and make sure you go in there and find the preferences. I think it's, yeah, this part's off screen. Oh, there's preferences. Go to the accounts and make sure you are signed in to your GitHub account. After that, we take the following steps. We need to add an existing repository to GitHub desktop. So let's do that. And in this step, what we're doing is going and finding the R package you, or the R project with your Quarto blog. So I'd store that in a folder called GitHub. It's called Cognition blog. Here it is. Press open. And I'm simply adding this. You can see it's being added to the side here. It's called Cognition Blog. And let's click on that. All right. What I want to do is publish this to GitHub. And the first thing I need to do here is make a little summary description uh, describing my first what's called commit. So I made a bunch of changes to this folder. You can see all the new files and stuff. And I'm just going to say, first post. Now, every time you do this, you're going to want to uh, basically, oh, sorry, let me just say what you're doing is you're making a little comment about the history of changes to your file. And that's a thing you'll want to be doing every time you publish or push to GitHub. Now I'm ready to publish my repository. So all I have to do is press this button, publish here. Um, the default is keeping the code private. I'm going to uncheck this so that other people can see this. If you want to add a description, you could. My template blog. 
and I'm going to hit Publish Repository. So if all went well, you should be able to click the button View on GitHub here. And you could see that I now have a folder called Cognition Blog or a, a repository called Cognition Blog. It's up on GitHub.com. And if you went to this URL, you'd be able to find it too. Now, this isn't a website. This is the source code for your website. If you were to go and try to find your posts, you would just see plain text and such. GitHub repositories have an interesting feature. If the repository contains a folder called docs, D-O-C-S, this one doesn't right now, and if that folder has web files in it, it will display those files as a website. So we need to basically change this folder that says underscore site. This one has all the web files in it. So for example, the landing page of your blog is index.html. But if we click on this, it doesn't show the web page, it shows the HTML file. All right, to make the final changes, we need to head back to our studio here and go to the uh, main directory of your blog. And we're going to find the underscore quarto.yml file. And this file controls some of the functionality of your blog. If we go back to the uh, blog post here, we can see that I'm suggesting we change the output directory to docs. So I'm just going to copy this and put that right in this same spot. Just like that. So I'm going to save this file. Notice it's red. It's not saved. I'm going to press S. I'm going to save that and I'm going to re-render the website. Here we go. Now what should happen here is when the blog files get compiled, that will go into a docs folder and not an underscore site folder. So here we've got the new blog. And if we look in our folders, we can see there's a new docs folder. We could go ahead and delete the site folder. We don't need that anymore. And let's take a look at GitHub Desktop. Notice we made a whole bunch of changes. We put all these files in the docs folder. We deleted files in the underscore site folder. We made a change in the quarto.yml file. And these changes are now listed here. I'm going to summarize them with a note called make docs folder. And I'm going to commit. And now I want those changes to be updated or pushed to github.com. So we're going to push those changes. And we could go see them on GitHub now. So we, uh, we should see, yes, we've got a docs folder now. Fantastic. Okay, the remaining steps involve using something called GitHub Pages to serve the blog from the docs folder. You need to go to the settings for your repository. My window's kind of like squished, so I think it appears as these three dots. And it says, there it is, settings. So let's go there. I'm going to scroll down a bit until you see Pages. And we have some options. So the option is want to deploy. Oh, we don't need to worry about that. I want to select, yes, the master branch that we're in and serve the website from the docs folder. All right. Those are the two settings you need to change. I'm going to save that. And uh, I might have to do one more thing, but it's telling me my GitHub Pages site is currently being built from the docs folder in the master branch. Okay, cool. Let's see if it's working. I'm going to press reload. Okay, I waited about a minute, I would say. 
And then this popped up after I refreshed. It says my site is live at, and it gives you a URL. So you could go visit your new blog. Okay, so there it is. It's live on the internet. If uh, someone else went to this same URL, you'd be able to go and check out this new, new blog that you made. So those are the basic instructions. Again, to review, uh, go ahead and go into the posts folder, copy one of these existing posts, modify the index.qmd file. When you're ready to render your post, click render website, and you can see a preview. When you're ready to push it to GitHub, go to GitHub desktop, make a note of your changes, press commit, and then push it up to github.com. I usually wait 30 seconds to a minute, and then you should be able to go and view it live on the internet. So that is getting up and running with a Quarto blog. There's a whole bunch more things you can do with Quarto. So do check out this website. And if you are interested in learning more about the writing system, it's called Markdown or blogging. Um, sorry, the, this blog system uses Markdown. I would go to the guide and check out, where is it? Uh, under authoring, kind of review these basics here to learn more how to get uh, the most out of using Quarto. All right, that's it for now. See you next time.